Intense heating at the surface can cause convection needed to create a cloud during a volcanic eruption. And these clouds can quickly build, and they do resemble a thunderstorm. In fact, uh, the name of those clouds are pyrocumulus clouds. And the dynamics of a pyrocumulus cloud is not fully understood, but what we do know is that lightning can be generated within that cloud. Well, scientists now believe that volcanoes can produce two kinds of lightning when erupting. The first type occurs in a volcano smoke plume just minutes after the eruption ends. It's when hot gases uh, and hot air actually clash with the cooler air around it, and that can form branched lightning. And that resembles a lot like what you would find in a traditional thunderstorm. Now, the second kind is a little bit more recently identified, so we don't know quite as much about it, but it can occur when magma, ash, and rocks carry a great electrical charge and induce sparks near the mouth of the volcano. And then some other scientists speculate that severe turbulence can also separate charges in the cloud. Volcanic lightning is relatively rare. We do know that not all volcanic eruptions include volcanic lightning, but there's no hard and fast number to determine how rare it is exactly. Now, some researchers say that it has occurred about 150 times in the past two centuries. And though it's highly unpredictable and sometimes can go undetected, what we do know is that when it happens, it can be quite a spectacle. And scientists have a high appreciation for being able to research during the event as it happens. Also, photographs and videos of volcanic lightning are incredible and usually make national headlines pretty quickly. So we know that not all volcanic eruptions have volcanic lightning, and the question is why? Well, the process is very complex. Well, we can compare this actually to a wall socket in your home. The electrical wires that carry the current uh, to your appliance don't really produce heat or light. But when the same current encounters, say, a tungsten filament, which has a high electrical resistance, it does. And all volcanic uh, activity or all volcanoes are in some ways electric in nature. But when there isn't enough electrical resistance, you just won't get lightning. Accounts of volcanic lightning can be dated back to the first century. In fact, the earliest known written account came from Pompeii. Gaius Secundus, better known as Pliny the Elder, wrote, there was a most intense darkness rendered more appalling by the fitful gleam of torches at intervals obscured by the transient blaze of lightning. And as you may or may not know, Pompeii was one of several towns that was completely wiped out by Mount Vesuvius. It was right at the base of that. That was back in 79 AD.